Hello everybody, my name is Antonina Brilkova. Today is Saturday and I'll tell you the fairy tale We Little Kavroshchka. There are good people in the world and some are not so good. There are also people who are shameless in their weakness. We Little Kavroshchka had the bad luck to fall in with such as these. She was an orphan and these people took her in and brought her up only to make her work till she couldn't stand. She wove and spun and did the housework and had to answer for everything. Now, mistress of the house had three daughters. The eldest was called one-eyed, the second two-eyed, and the youngest three-eyed. The three sisters did nothing all day but sit by the gate and watch what went on in the street, while we little Havroshichka sewed, spun and wove for them and never heard a kind word in return. Sometimes we little Havroshichka would go out into the field, put her arms around the neck of her brindled cow and pour out all her sorrows to her. Brindled, my dear, she would say. They beat me and scold me. They don't give me enough to eat, and yet they forbid me to cry. I am to have five pounds of flax spun, woved, bleached, and rolled by tomorrow. And the cow would say in reply, My bony lass, you have only to climb into one of my ear and come out through the other and your work will be done for you. And just as Brindle said, so it was. We little Havroshichka would climb into one of the cow's ears and come out through the other. And behold, there lay the clothes all woved and bleached and rolled. Little Havroshichka would then take the rolls of clothes to her mistress, who would look at them and grunt and put them away in the chest to give we little Havroshichka even more work to do. And we little Havroshichka would go to Brindle, put her arms around her and stroke her, climb into one of her ears and come out through the other, pick up the ready cloth and take it to her mistress again. One day the old woman called her daughter one eye to her and said, my good child, my bony child, go and see who helps the orphan with her work. Find out who spins the thread, weaves the clothes and rolls it. One eye went with wee little Havroshichka into the woods and she went with her into fields. But she forgot her mother's command and she back in the sun and lay down on the grass and her Havroshichka murmured, Sleep, little eye, sleep. One eye shut her eye and fell asleep. While she slept, brindled, wove, bleached and rolled the clothes. The mistress learned nothing. So she sent, she sent for her second daughter, two-eyed. My good child, my bony child, go and see who helps the orphan with her work. Two eyes went with wee little Havroshichka, but she forgot her mother's command, and she basked in the sun and lay down on the grass. And wee little Havroshichka murmured, Sleep, little eye, sleep the other little eye. Two eyes shut her eyes, and she dozed off. While she slept, brindled wolf bleached and rolled the cloth. The old woman was very angry, and on the third day she told her third daughter three eyes to go with wee little Havroshchka, to whom she gave more work than ever. Three eyed played and skipped about in the sun until she was so tired that she lay down on the grass, and we little Havroshichka sang out, Sleep, little eye, sleep the other little eye. But she forgot all about the third little eye. 
two of three eyes eyes fell asleep but the third look on and saw everything it was we little Habrosichka climb into one of the cow's ears and come out through the other and pick up the ready claws. Three eyes came home and told her mother what she had seen. The old woman was overjoyed, and on the very next day she went to her husband and said, Go and kill the brindled cow. The old man was astonished and tried to reason with her. Have you lost your wits, old woman? he said. The cow is a good one and still young. Kill it and say no more, the wife insisted. There was no help for it and the old man began to sharpen his knife. We little Abrosichka found out all about it and she ran to the field and threw her arms around Brindled. Brindle, dear! she said they want to kill you and the cow replied do not grieve my bony less but do what i tell you take my bones tie them up in a handkerchief bury them in the garden and water them every day do not eat of my flesh and never forget me the old man killed the cow and we little Havroshechka did as Brindle had told her. She went hungry, but she would not touch the meat, and she buried the bones in the garden and watered them every day. After a while, an apple tree grew out of them, and a wonderful tree it was. Its apples were round and juicy, its waist bows were of silver and its rustling leaves were of gold. Whoever drove by would stop to look, and whoever came near marveled. A long time passed, but a little time. One day, one eye, two eyes, and three eyes went out working in the garden. And who should chance to be riding by the time but a young man? handsome and strong and rich and curly-haired. When he saw the juicy apples, he stopped and said to the girls teasingly, Fair maidens, here I will marry a to you three, who brings me the apple of that tree. And of rush the sisters to the apple tree, each trying to get ahead of the others. But the apples, which had been hanging very low and seemed within easy reach, now swung up high in the air above the sisters' heads. The sisters tried to knock them down, but the leaves came down in a shower and blinded them. They tried to pluck the apple off, but the bells caught in their brains and unplated them. Struggle and stretch as they might, they could not reach the apples and only scratch their hands. Then we little Havroshechka walked up to the tree and at once the bows bent down and the apples came into her hands. She gave an apple to the handsome young stranger and he married her. From that day she knew no sorrow and she and her husband lived happily ever after. So, if you like my fairy tale, please put some up, and see you next Saturday. Goodbye!